uh, Fox and Friends again from the, this is from yesterday. Steve Scalise was on the uh, number two uh, Republican in the House. Also famously uh, referred to himself as, um, as uh, David Duke without the baggage. Maybe he said luggage, baggage. baggage. Uh, but here he is uh, asking, and Ducey is really, really starting to feel like he doesn't want a part of the uh, covering up for Trump thing. Uh, but here's, uh, here's that exchange. There are a number of people online and elsewhere who are demonizing the, the FBI and some Republicans. Paul Gosselaar, a Republican in your caucus from Arizona, said we must destroy the FBI. We must save America. I stand with Donald Trump. Marjorie Taylor Greene says defend the FBI. I'm just curious, whatever happened to the Republican Party backing the blue and in particular the 35 members of law enforcement, federal law enforcement at the FBI? Yeah, and frankly, we're, we're very strong supporters of law enforcement, and it concerns everybody if you see some agents go rogue, and if you see an agency that doesn't have the right checks and balances at the top. This is coming Steve, from the who top. Went this rogue? Is a, who went rogue? They were following a search warrant. We want to find that out. We want to find that out, and that's why we're asking these questions, because, you know, there were reports yesterday that Merrick Garland said he didn't even know about this raid. I don't know if anybody believes that, but he should be asked under oath if he knew about the raid prior to it happening. Uh, he hasn't answered that question. Why hasn't he held a press conference? Why won't President right. Biden talk about this to and, the press? And is it related to Scott Perry? That is deafening right now, that silence. And is it related to Scott Perry having his uh, phone taken away by FBI agents who came to his house and said, just give it to me, uh, uh, where, where That's he was right. located? They just took his phone. On a vacation. Right. All right, so the big yeah. thing you were yeah, referring to. These are all things that are concerning. And oh, by the way, then they want to add 87,000 more IRS agents right. uh, at this same time that they're weaponizing other agencies. Well, well uh, Steve, why, why not wait a week or so until we know more about this search warrant than, you know, immediately, you know, rush to judgment and say, yeah, the FBI, they're crazy? No, we're asking questions right now that no one's answering. We're not hearing the FBI answer any of these questions. We're not hearing justice. And we're sure not hearing the White House answer these questions. All you I mean, this is, uh, this is unfortunate for Scalise that he was uh, less than 24 hours away. I mean, just literally hours away from uh, Merrick Garland uh, answering those questions and putting all that to bed. And it's fascinating. They're so, they're so um, flat-footed here. Yeah. Trying to pivot to the IRS, um, for, it goes from a few rogue FBI agents to eighty-seven thousand IRS agents. Um, they really don't know how to deal with this at all, and they have to like look like they're doing something, or their base is going to be super, super upset. And they also can't do anything because they don't want to actually piss off the FBI or do anything like that, or get themselves in, in, entangled in this stuff. Well, the other problem that they have, and I think there was a, a clue of this, uh, this reporter, Andrew uh, Desiderio, I think he's from uh, Politico. Um, he tweeted out a couple of days ago, just got off the phone with Representative Turner, the top Republican on the House Intel, who made a more nuanced case for seeking info on the Mar-a-Lago search rather than a knee-jerk defense of Trump without knowing the basis for the raid as we've seen from other GOPers. Turner argues the only possible justification for this kind of search of an ex-POTUS home is if there is a clear national security threat related to Trump's possession of White House docs. As of now, he doesn't know one. Does that sound like he didn't know? Or does that sound like he has really good predictive yeah. skills? Yeah, let's get ready to duck in this exact certain direction we need to duck. <laughs> Uh, Trump has more classified information in his head than he could possibly have on his desk, Turner told me. What is it that rises to the level that they would raid his home to seek unless there is a true national security threat? This is clearly an overreach. This sounds to me like a guy who had been briefed on the uh, these documents missing and perhaps at the White House. He's on the Intelligence Committee. He's the top Republican. I, I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't have been that he wouldn't have been briefed, maybe even in the, the idea that the, the warrant was issued or certainly that the problem existed. I mean, it's 
well, I guess we got to wait and see. And obviously, but um, certainly Garland seems to be very um, uh, willing to provide all of the justification that these guys claim that they want. 